companies make LED headlights and sell them for around a dollar or two each at places like eBay and Alibaba. They mostly look similar, a sort of corn cob arrangement of yellowish surface mount LEDs on something shaped like a regular automotive bulb. These usually produce very dim, unfocused light that's not even suitable for use as a bicycle headlight, much less a car headlight. This review is not about those cheap LEDs. Banggood.com provided me with a sample of AutoLeader's new LED headlights in 9005 size. They're available in most common sizes to fit almost any vehicle. These are very affordable LED replacement bulbs that compare in price to the cheapest HID kits out there. Installation is as easy as changing a regular headlight bulb. Unplug and remove the old bulb and then plug in the new LED and you're done. These bulbs are rated at 9 to 32 volts DC so they'll work with both 12 and 24 volt systems. They're also labeled 8000 lumens. That's really bright. To put it in perspective, a 100 watt bulb in your house produces about 1500 lumens. A regular halogen automotive bulb is rated around 1500 to 2000 lumens. And a 35 watt HID bulb produces about 2500 to 3000 lumens. Even if it only produces 4000 lumens, that's still twice as bright as an HID. The way they can do that is they pack 60 individual LEDs into a chip on board arrangement, which you can see here under the yellow gel. There's 30 on this side and 30 on the other side. And to control the heat produced by these high power LEDs, there's a heat sink and fan in the back. So let's get right to the comparisons. Here's a photo showing my aftermarket HID kit fully warmed up in both headlights. You can see the nice white light from the HIDs with a hint of blue. Note that it took over 30 seconds from the time I first turned them on till they reached full brightness. Next, I removed the HID bulb on the right and replaced it with the factory original halogen bulb. It's pretty plain to see how yellow the original halogen bulb looks, especially compared to the HID on the left. Now let's replace the halogen with one of the auto leader LEDs. Yeah, that's the same HID on the left and the new LED on the right. Pretty amazing the difference in brightness. Also note how the LED doesn't have even a hint of blue, it's pure white. And now for some driving videos. In the top half of the screen you can see the HID headline output and the bottom the LEDs. This was recorded on the same stretch of road with no street lights and with the same dash cam to make an even comparison. Again, it's plain to see how white the light is from the LEDs. It's great how well it lights up street signs and road markings. So let's talk about the pros and cons of the AutoLeader S2 COB headlights. First up, it's plug and play installation. There's no extra boxes or wiring necessary. They make pure white light, no blue or yellow tint at all. They're really bright, but they still have a good beam pattern of focus and it doesn't seem to bother other drivers. They should last at least as long as your car in most cases. They use less power so it won't damage your car's wiring. And they're very inexpensive. They're about the same price as a good set of halogen bulbs. The only negative thing I have to say about these LED headlights is that if your vehicle requires H4 bulbs, that's combination low and high beam, then I do not recommend you order these. Instead, check out a different set of auto leader LEDs from Banggood in my written review. The link is in the description. The only other possible issue with these lights is that you have to wait for shipping from China, which really isn't that bad, especially at this price. When LED headlights first came out, they were either ridiculously expensive or were total junk like the ones you saw at the beginning of the video. You can still buy junk LEDs and you can also buy junk HIDs. But now good quality LED headlights like these AutoLeader S2 lights are actually cheaper and much simpler to install than good HID kits and are actually the same price as regular halogen bulbs. Yet these LEDs seem to be better than HID and halogen in every way. So at this point, there's absolutely no reason to buy halogen or HIDs ever again. I definitely recommend these AutoLeader LEDs for your vehicles.